Hello everyone, so about 5 months ago I made this video how you can access your VNC client on your Proxmox on your LAN system, not from like remote location outside your network. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. It's just simple, uh, you have to port forward your router and you just have to know which IP you are going to forward your traffic to or your port number. So first we are going to create a virtual machine which I which I have already created here. Uh, I'm going to start it for the first time but before you start it or if you already have it, just shut it down first. Then what you have to do, you have to copy this. Uh, uh, like I showed you in uh, this video how you set up VNC client on your virtual machine so you have to edit it so let me copy this here uh, this is uh, where your file is located ID or your virtual machine config file you have to copy this location you have to go in PVE then nano and then paste it and then slash at the end you have to type this uh, VM ID 102 mine is 102 so I'm going to type 102 enter and you have to go at the bottom and then you have to copy this one here copy it and paste it so you have to be careful about two things you have to keep password on so you have you can set a password otherwise it will be like available whoever just type your uh, IP address and port number it will be connected so there is something that is confusing it's port 77 but if you go into the configuration you see it says 5977 so if if it's 77 at the end or port number 80 the port that you are going to forward is 59 then your port number that you type here like 70 if it's 77 here then 77 here if it's 80 then it will be 80. so it will not be like if you have like a website running on port 80 it will not be accessing uh, your port port number 80 it will be actually it will be 598 so i have pasted it here let's just exit and now i'm going to start the virtual machine let's wait for it to come online now it is live i'm going to connect it with vnc viewer it's just a simple software you can use so how can i connect with it like i showed you before we're going to use the proxmox ip address in my case it is 192.168.100.160 on which my proxmox is running so i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it here sorry 192.168.100.160 then colon and then your port number so in my case like i told you i set it to 77 but the original one is 59 then 77 so 5977 i'm going to enter it to show it will ask me for my password so uh, i haven't set it up yet so we are going to set it up now you don't need to shut it down you just have to go in monitor and then go to documentation and copy this one here uh, be careful there is like a white space it at the start so paste it here so my password is foobar1 so i'm going to connect to the virtual machine again let me open it so 2977 it's going to ask me for the password so foobar1 so i mean let me show you if i'm connected to this virtual machine going click on console then open it back and see it's running if i type something see here is showing up here now i'm going to make it like publicly accessible for that i have to port forward it and to do that i need to access my router first i'm going to log in into my router and then i'm going to show you, you can port forward it so every configuration is different for all uh, routers so in my case i have a huawei router so i'm going going in port mapping if it says port forwarding port mapping uh, that's the same thing so i'm going to click on new so here i have to uh, type the internal host internal host means uh, the uh, ip of our proxmox so i'm going to copy it paste it here and the last thing we have to do we have to port forward like if i want to use different port for external for like uh, if it's 5977 internally which i'm going to type here uh, which you should type the same that you have on your uh, proxmox so i'm going to type that here but i'm going to use different port from outside i'm going to use like 6977 i can do that 6977 6977 gonna click apply and it's uh, it's been saved now it's open i'm going to access it again using my public ip which i'm not going to show you i'm just going to show you the first part so now i'm going to type the port number which is 6977 see it, sh uh, it shows up that mean we are going to connect to it i uh, don't ask me again then continue and then type uh, the password okay i'm connected so that's how you can set up your vnc to be accessible from the internet